this is a celestial energies brother wisdom what i'm going to do is um i'm going to start off with a message a brother sent me and um we're going to quickly talk about the ionosphere and we're going to talk about orgone um technology and how it works um we're going to go over some other information all right this is going to be a brief message here but for you guys to understand um it's important that we take charge of our planet and we are the original chemist. All right. We're the original beings. And it's important that we tap back into science, physics and chemistry in order to retake our planet. All right. It only takes a little bit of work from a lot of us and we can overtake this entire system. All right. Let's go into this real quick. All right. So for the last couple of days, I have been doing um, my due diligence on this ionosphere. And this is some of the information that I came up with. I screenshotted a lot of stuff because I like to have my own records. But it seems that they're using these two guys. These two guys are the culprit. They wanted to do this on a massive scale, but it was too much money for them to do it. And so this actual harp is actually a small scale of what they were really reaching for. And um, some interesting stuff, but it's it's technology that we definitely can pretty much um, knock it out the box. Like I said, it's, it's, it, 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 it isn't even really, uh, I can't even give it, I can't even give it no clout like that. You know what I'm saying? It seemed like it's a big thing because a lot of us is just not aware of it. But the more I've really been tapping in and really like doing, you know, the research on this, um, it ain't going to take much for us, a few of us to get together and, uh, you know, place because they can only control this system at very small square feet uh, at a time. So it, that's why it takes them so long. And then the spraying of the aluminum, you know, that aluminum and uh, barium that they spray, it is to reflect a lot of the sunlight back up. But they're using a whole lot of small scale uh, science, really, truthfully, to uh, make this stuff work. And, um, and, and, and I see us really just knocking this shit out the box. I, I, I really don't even see this happening much longer. The sun is just giving us really the 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 energy and and the power that we need to tap in, and, and it's just about us building devices out of nature to uh, counter all this shit. But I don't I don't see this really. I don't see this as a big thing to be real. I believe a few of us can really just uh, counterbalance this real quick. I say I say I say. Another thing I had to add because I know pictures can't give it a full disclosure, but what it is is heart only can do so much and they need the other power plants. That's why I screenshotted the sun, all that. These other power plants in Russia and Norway is what help assist them. You see what I'm saying? Because harp itself can't do, harp itself is not doing it. It's a conglomerate uh, of different uh, areas that is responsible basically for this climate weather uh, pattern. And in the video to do, you know, he was very uh, specific on giving the details of how this system works. You know what I'm saying? And uh, one thing he was saying, and he, because he's against it. So when he went in, he went in, you know what I'm saying? And so, uh, and I mean, he was just giving it up. He was giving up all the goods. Cracker probably ain't even alive no more to be real about it, cause he would, he would, he would definitely whistle blowing on him. You heard me? But the thing is, uh, you got Russia and Norway, these power plants, and then you got that slope over there in Alaska that is where they're getting pretty much all their power from for free. You see what I'm saying? That's what he's the Dr. Eastland and all of them. That's what because he's the one. It's his research. Is his shit that they're using. You see what I'm saying? They probably had to tweak it a little bit or whatever, because like I said, this is a small scale. And um, at one time, it uh, controlled this system. 
and when the uh, when the uh, let me get it right when the tax cuts and all the money went to you know getting short uh the university of alaska fairbank is who is controlling this shit now so that's who's in control of heart. It's no longer the actual government. Now the military probably is assisting them with these weather, uh, these big ass fucking, uh, you know, these, uh, when they turn on their uh, wind machines, you see what I'm saying? Because the wind machines is all over the world. And so that do a system as well to, to circulate the, uh, you know what I'm saying? To circulate whatever they put in motion. So it's, like I said, it's a conglomerate of systems that are all in play to create this bullshit. You see what I'm saying? Um, and then uh, I want you to check out this uh, circular fusion. That is the problem. That's what's the problem for us as far as the, um, the creation itself. That's how they're doing it is that circular torch or that circular torch pay attention to those pictures and that information because that's 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 what we have to counter that's that's where uh ancestors and how yourself is leading me to know that that's the issue that we got to counterbalance all right all right so you understand this here brothers and sisters this is you know the, the brothers and sisters that I, the, the brothers that I communicate with, we talk science. All right. We don't have time for bullshit. Seriously. We don't have time to joke and jive and bullshit. We literally talk science. I mean, I was talking to a brother last night and we talked for about an hour on the phone. It was nothing but science. Seriously. So um, you have to understand, like you said, we're going to have to do this all together. All right. Um, let me see if I can go to. Uh, I'm going to read off. I think you all you all already saw the the YouTube, uh, the posting that I made from the from the YouTube channel. But what I want to do is I want to read it off again so that, you know, just a just a refresher. All right. This was the message from um, Rachel uh, Anutero. All right. Um, this um, then she had posted this on the Earth Children Meditation, but she said the planet's atmosphere is made of seven made out of seven layers. All right. Seven layers makes the entire atmosphere. <laughs> the first layer is the troposphere. This is where your weather occurs. All right. In the troposphere. Um, this is um, I'm see. The second is the stratosphere. This layer is where the airplanes fly and contains the ozone, which absorbs and scatters the UV radiation from the sun to protect the planet. The third layer is the mesosphere, which is uh, where one would see shooting stars, meteors are burned up in this layer. Then you have the fourth layer, which is the thermosphere. The thermosphere is the hottest, thickest layer of the Earth's atmosphere. The last but not least you have is the exosphere. Okay. Um, and you didn't, they didn't uh, she didn't put on there the the mag the the magnosphere or the um oh it's one more I can't remember um oh well, there's the um and the, okay the fifth layer is the exosphere this layer um the last but not least you have the fifth layer which is the exosphere this layer doesn't contain a lot of molecules very few. Uh, uh, are in it and it contain lots of air molecules of um, let me see um, within inside of the thermosphere is the ionosphere now the ionosphere doesn't have its own layer because it is within the thermosphere layer the ionosphere is what depends on the sun energy to glow and perform what we call the aurora borealis all right uh this is the, this is electrically charged particles that reflect radio waves this means that these orcs are using some sort of energy from satellite disk placed within the thermosphere and the ionosphere absorbs and reflects that energy around the globe and back down here to us, the energy that these satellites are giving off are stagnant frequencies, 
which stagnate the atmosphere because they are because they are dead and um, and not pure. The only way to stop this is to create a natural orgon energy. Orgon will disrupt it below um, this conversation. Okay, all right. So um, then we came to um, the other one that was, and that was that was a conversation between um, Rachel Anutaro and Amsram Dark. Amsram Dark said harp uses crooked, well, uses crooked square wave wave frequencies. Um, and look at the frequency images. I think you guys already saw that. All right. Um, uh, it will, uh, imagine it as a sound. You will feel the pressure in your forehead up to your front scalp. This is what has, uh, this is what has been, it has been doing to us. Uh, the frequencies are uh, impure, all right? The frequencies are impure and incomplete. It's the way they al they, they're altered, okay? This causes cold air. Sound creates energy, and with uh, certain forms of electricity, gases, radiation, they are able to manipulate the atmosphere. We have natural gases in our atmosphere, which... Uh, need ion, ion, ionization, okay? And this is what our structures will do. We're talking about the organ, all right? Um, we need pure frequencies, pure electricity, pure gases, highly ra radioactive. This is uh, what the shift is all about, ionizing those gases, gases uh, uh, or those gas particles in the air. HARP works to stagnate those molecules sometime some I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm reading wrong something can be uh can only be cold I'm trying to understand what I'm reading here okay something can only be cold if the atoms are not moving the way they're supposed to all right so basically he's saying that you know the in the end the the air, air is cold because they created this uh this pressure to stagnate the atoms so the atoms won't move around freely okay um so when we ionize the uh so when we ionize the natural gases in our atmosphere those gases uh illuminate and you will see the purple green red blue um, this is when the brothers and sisters on our planet start gaining abilities in order for uh, other things to happen. OK, so um, uh, in order for something to happen physically, there needs to be an ionization discharge, which means that we're going to have to create something. All right. And you all know about um, orgone. I got to hurry up here. I'm, I'm not pressed for time here. Um, you all got you guys know about orgone technology. And you know about the orgone pyramids. So I don't have to show you this right here. But um, what is orgone energy technology? Uh, when collected, orgone energy is instrumental to help us reach the, f the psychological and physical health. It is the ethereal life force. Orgone energy itself has no inertia or weight that is, uh, that is it is mass free. Um, this is one of the reasons why it's difficult to measure using conventional techniques. Also, a fun way to measure your own organ energy. Okay, so uh, one of the reasons why organite works is because it's layered. Um, it is layered organic and inorganic materials, and ideally placed under pressure. Hence, the pressure placed upon them is epoxy drying. All right, epoxy is that pressure that holds everything together. All right. Um, so then you go into how does organ energy work? It enhances awareness, visual, visualization, intuition, intuition, psychic abilities, promotes natural health, concentration, spiritual growth, uh, creates a calmer, calmer home and environment, purifies, detoxifies the water and the air, uh, transmute negative energy, converts it to positive energy, creates balances within your own natural energy, enhances plants to grow. Hold on here for a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, now we're going to say, what is orgone theory? Um, this is what the, they're, they're saying. Orgone is a pseudo-scientific concept variously described as an, an, as an es, um, uh, esoteric energy or hypo, hypothetical universal life force. All right. 
Um, and they say uh, originally proposed in the 1930s by William Reich. All right. OK, you got to understand that where did William Reich get it from? He got it from our old technology because the, a lot of the towers that they that they did uh, like that we had were orgone towers. All right. And the orgone, we relied on orgone energy. All right. And when you talk about psychic behaviors or whatever, this is this is where we were, brothers and sisters. So, um uh, we're going to look into orgone because the orgone cleans the air. Orgone ionizes the ionosphere and ionizes the entire atmosphere. All right. So we're going to go deeper into orgone technology. But I just wanted to present this to you all so that you all can have an idea of what is going on and what we must do. All right. That's why we say we got a lot of work to do. The orgone pyramids. Um, we're going to go uh, later on. I got to get ready for work. We got to go later on. Uh, um, and we're going to be talking about creating the orgone technology and putting it into the air. All right. Which, you know, we're going to go into building it and creating it. And um, uh, the like we say, the epoxy puts it puts all these elements or resources, the, or the organic and the inorganic under pressure. And you got to understand the organic and the inorganic works together. All right. They works together as an energy that is released at the top of the pyramid that goes into the atmosphere. All right. And it uh, will charge. It, it charges up the atmosphere and it cleans the atmosphere up. So so um, we're going to have to get back into orgon technology. All right. And like we say, a lot of many of our towers were orgon. Got to remember that we were the original chemists. We're the original ones who created the epoxy long time ago. Chemicals ain't new, brothers and sisters. A lot of these, all these chemicals are not new. These chemicals have already been here. That's why we're the alchemist. Alchemist means chemo, chemo, uh, the, the chemists of all chemicals. All right. It's who, it's who we are. All right. So um, I just shared this with you guys. Um, I'm going to catch you guys a little later. All right, but uh, something for you all to think about, like just like the brother said, this system is easy to be destroyed, but we're going to have to build. We're going to have to create. All right. Orgone technology. All right. You guys study orgone technology. Study it, study it, study it, study it, study it, study it until you know it like the back of your freaking hand. All right. Study it. All right. And the, the epoxy doesn't is, is it isn't expensive. You can get you can get you. Um, um, the gallon size, you can get the, the gallon size epoxy for a hundred dollars. All right. You get a gallon of hardener and a gallon of epoxy for a hundred dollars. So that's, you know, so you can easily make a two gallon system if you want to. But, um, and remember the epoxy and the resin has to be equal. All right. You got to have the equal amount of epoxy and the equal amount of resin, stir it all up together. And, but you got to put all your stuff in inside of your silicone first. These are the things that we did in the days of old. They're just taking what we had and redoing it. All right. Now we have to use it to bring back our planet and bring back and bring us back into uh, the state of uh, our real, our real reality. All right. And this is this is how we cause this this entire system to fall as well, because the the they can't fight against us. You just like we said, the orgone has no weight. The energy from orgone has no weight. It's so powerful that it has no weight, which means that it's it's more like a, a ghost energy. All right. It's like a ghost energy. So um, maybe this is why this year is the, the year of the phantom energy, because we're going to be creating orgone this this year. And that orgone is a phantom energy. Wow. That's why this is the year of the phantom energy. Okay. Um, I'll catch you guys later. Well, we're going to talk a little later here. Um, you know the deal. All power to the multi chakra celestial angelic beings. May chaos ring with you forever and ever and ever. Remember, chaos brings change, not peace. All right. Chaos is going above and beyond. All right. Catch you guys later. Much power to you all.